Hi everyone, and thanks for joining today's presentation on the journey to secure cloud networking, Arista macro segmentation services with Arista Networks and Checkpoint Software Technology. My name is Namita Kalyanprakar. I work at Arista Marketing, and I'm just going to be moderating today's webinar. You're going to be hearing today from Joe Hilscher, the head of Strategic Technology Alliances at Arista, Jason Min, the head of Business and Corporate Development for the Americas at Checkpoint, Jane Go, the head of Product Marketing for Security Management at Checkpoint, and Ben DeBole, Arista's Senior Business Development Engineer, is going to be running a demo for you. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Joe Hilscher, who's going to dive into the content. Joe? Thanks, Namita. Um, we'll start off just taking a look at uh, where Arista contributes to network architectures, because this is really an important point to understand the challenges for inserting security in a modern data center. On, on this slide on the left, we can see traditional network designs that really revolved around a three-tiered core aggregation access network concept. These were typically networks built at layer two uh, and provided uh, a number of challenges for moving into the cloud era. One is the reliability of these networks uh, with a single large uh, layer two fault domain. Uh, an another aspect of them that were challenging uh, is the ability to isolate traffic into specific tenants or work groups within the network. Flash forward to uh, six years ago, and Arista pioneered the concept of two-tier leaf spine networks that provided identical cross-sectional bandwidth to uh, traffic and the ability to segment traffic um, based on tenant group, work group, or application uh, built around layer three technology and advanced multi-layer switches. These revolutionized the ability to deploy uh, cloud-type data centers as customers move forward to introducing more virtualization, uh, more dynamics within their networks, uh, and more uh, sophisticated ways of running their networks around uh, Layer 3 technologies like BGP uh, and Equal Cost Multipath Routing, or ECMP. Uh, these allowed very large networks to be built without any proprietary lock-ins, uh, and using uh, really cloud economics technologies, reducing the switch count, the number of optical links, and other aspects. Uh, this is really what Arista brought to the network, and we find that most networking vendors today support this sort of an architecture uh, as a deployment model in high-capacity data centers and large cloud infrastructures. Uh, moving forward uh, into today, the challenge with moving networks from layer three to layer two designs to layer three designs was that it isolated VLANs to leaf switches and made implementation of segment specific security policies challenging. Flipping forward, you can see here that uh, security in legacy data center designs was really impeded by these architectures and that there was no efficient way to in place security firewall services for, uh, for and between tenant groups uh, in a cloud network data center. Firewalls were certainly easily installed for the perimeter by addressing the north-south boundary uh, in the core layer of the network, but challenges around scale beyond one firewall pair or beyond the capacity of the network to see all VLANs in the network at any individual point meant that it was very challenging to secure dynamic and especially virtualized workloads. In this sort of a model, what we needed to move toward is a network that combined the cloud efficiency of the leaf and spine network designs and what Arista calls the universal cloud network architecture, a simplified architecture with fewer devices required, higher capacity across the spine network, and that could really take advantage of speeds up to 100 gigabits uh, connections in the spine. What this was addressing was the increasing density of data center networks. The range of cloud data center deployments today is using very highly dense and very segmented technologies from VMware, OpenStack, containers, uh, and other technology to drive more workloads and more efficient, uh, dynamic, and composable infrastructure uh, into the network design. Arista VMware vCenter, where we've done at Arista a number of integrations that provide the ability to see what's happening within the workloads. VMware NSX overlay networking using VXLAN technology, 
and direct integration between the physical network and the virtual overlay network provide the ability to micro-segment workloads independent of physical network infrastructure placement. Um, and then uh, similar technologies that are coming to OpenStack, uh, OpenStack with SDN controllers and to Docker-based container releases are all part of what's hosted within an Arista Cloud network data center design. So taking a look at that sort of new model of cloud networking and applying security policy in a mixed uh, and combined physical and virtual world uh, is the challenge that Arista has worked with Checkpoint Technologies to address all elements of this. So at the traditional perimeter, of course, uh, where we've been able to handle very high bandwidth uh, input and output, uh, this, tech, this, uh, this area is an area that Checkpoint certainly is significantly involved in. And then if we look at the bottom here, microsegmentation, uh, VM to VM traffic, as VMs become the hosting location within a cloud data center network for a lot of the applications and workloads, isolating each VM to its own uh, segment or micro segmentation is a critical component of VSEC and network virtualization technologies like VMware NSX uh, or Docker uh, as a uh, containerization technology. What's been lacking here is unification on a couple fronts. One area is the ability to provide isolation between legacy and traditional workloads that run on bare metal hardware, such as uh, non-x86 servers or uh, that are running uh, on dedicated hardware appliances like, um, like flash storage uh, environments for ultra-high purpose. So the physical to physical domain is a challenge that has not fit well into the evolution toward VM-based micro-segmentation. And it's just something we're going to talk about uh, uh, a lot through the session today, because a solution to that is something that can be provided by the cloud networking framework, uh, and is exactly what Arista has uh, has delivered with its new macro segmentation service. Jason, uh, in in this slide, you can see you know a little bit of three dimensions of of your solution. Do you want to talk about a little bit, um, kind of what you're doing in this area to provide unification? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Joe. As networks have become more dynamic and blurring the line between a physical and virtual world, there's a need to manage security in all of these environments. And as you think about the traditional perimeter checkpoint appliances protect north-south traffic, but even going one step further in more dynamic, high-performance data centers, we provide a macro segmentation insertion with Arista to provide the most secure and dynamic performance for these type of workloads. And then getting one step granular into micro segmentation with east-west traffic, we have a virtual security gateway to provide security in between applications and VMs in an east-west manner. So together all of this can be managed by our proprietary R80 console to manage security all security policies and configurations that create ease of use and for not only the network operator, but the security administrator and the corporation together. Yeah, and, and Jason, uh, you know, we'll see more about that coming up here in a second uh, and show you a demonstration of how that looks in Arista cloud network infrastructure. On, you know, in this next section, I'll talk a little bit about what enables Arista to provide uh, better unification between the network components of insertion for service nodes like your firewalls in a cloud data center. Arista has, of course, been building unified cloud network designs for the last several years. And as we've delivered those, one of the key points that customers have asked us to do is to provide a more scalable and, uh, and better mechanism for managing the uh, physical network fabric and the way that it integrates with virtualization networking components like VMware NSX, OpenStack, and Docker. And as we've moved uh, in that direction, one thing that was clear to us really uh, from the beginning of our, our development effort is that a lot of the network state is critical to maintaining a reliable and secure uh, cloud infrastructure. And based on the concept that we uh, innovated with the first introduction of the Arista EOS software operating system for our switches, 
We've extended that to something that we call Cloud Vision, a network database, a state synchronous viewpoint, if you will, for the physical network fabric. What Cloud Vision is providing uh, as part of the network uh, operating system and software infrastructure that runs Arista switches is a single point of integration for the whole network for services that I mentioned earlier, like VMware, vSphere, NSX, OpenStack, uh, containers, etc. The single point of integration is how we provide the ability to do things like include a uh, switching endpoint that might be a physical server or storage node into the virtual network overlay that's provided uh, and defined by the VM environment. Through that and through the ability of Cloud Vision to have a central view of the aggregate configuration and state of the database, we're able to also provide a platform for automation of uh, inserting services like security. We'll talk about that and show you a demo of exactly how it works. But the extension of our Cloud Vision central state database architecture that allows security to be inserted anywhere in the network between any endpoints or workloads is what we call Cloud Vision Macro Segmentation Service, or MSS. Macro Segmentation Service is an extension of Arista Cloud Vision infrastructure that has a knowledge of where every device is within the physical network, the physical topology of the network, and also provides the ability to plug physical infrastructure endpoints into the virtualization, the VM infrastructure in a network virtualization uh, fabric like VMware, uh, or the ability to provide a complete hosted cloud operating system that provides uh, scalable control for very large scale service providers uh, and enterprises that are building their own private cloud. Because Cloud Vision has the centralized intelligence and the knowledge about where every new device is being added, moved, and removed from the network in real time, it has the ability to insert services between endpoints in the network dynamically uh, based on input that it gets from uh, external sources. In the case of uh, network virtualization, that's, for example, our OVSDB plugin. Uh, that's the Open Virtual Switch protocol that's supported natively by VMware. Uh, in the case of OpenStack, it's using the ML2 plugins to the uh, OpenStack environment. In the case of Docker, it's using uh, administration uh, that's offered through Cloud Vision uh, with, with Docker container awareness. What this means is that the infrastructure can provide service device insertion anywhere in the network, can allow east-west traffic in the network that previously was really unaddressable other than in VMs, other than in the VM environment for physical and virtual devices consistently uh, using the security policies that are managed and handled not by the network, but rather by the security tools themselves. Taking a look at that in sort of a abstract sense here, um, we can see what Cloud Vision MSS does for a physical topology where workloads are dynamically placed or distributed uh, across the network in a consumption model driven by the uh, cloud uh, hardware and software infrastructure of the uh, virtualization and hypervisor layers. Um, and what it provides is the ability to abstract that into a logical topology where firewall services can be deployed between and in front of workloads automatically uh, based on the logical network topology to insert uh, inline services that's derived from the security nodes themselves. Uh, a little more about that, and I think this will become more clear in the demo. But what I'd like to do is to hand this off, Jason, back to you and to Jane to talk about uh, Checkpoint's R80 solutions in the data center and what, what value you bring to that environment. And then we'll see it all come together uh, in a demonstration and, and, and talk about how it uh, fits in a uh, kind of in an overall unified sense. Back to you, Jason. Thanks, Joe. And have you, as you mentioned in the presentation, data centers have become increasingly virtualized and partitioned. They're becoming more dynamic and accommodating on-the-fly deployment of new applications in both physical and virtual environments, such as the private, public, and hybrid cloud. As IT environment becomes more open and less controlled, 
businesses need to protect their private, public, or hybrid environments from an increasingly threatening backdrop within the cloud. Today, Checkpoint provides best-in-class security for any environment, no matter how your network is constructed. Whether you have on-premise physical data centers or if you have public, private, or hybrid clouds, security teams can now use one console to manage all aspects of security from policy to threat prevention across the entire organization. Now you can get operational efficiency and high performance, you simplify management, and avoid overlapping policies and redundant configurations. And through this, you have less maintenance costs that essentially equals lower cost, total cost of ownership for the enterprise. Within an enterprise's physical environment or unified private cloud, the Checkpoint 61K appliance is a real benchmark for the fastest security platform with high performance. Our 61Ks are optimized with our software blade architecture, providing consolidated security with a multi-blade and multi-layered approach. This starts with our firewall and stateful inspection and includes our top selling blades such as IPS, a deep packet inspection and application control software blade, along with several other blades in the Checkpoint ecosystem. A data center using Checkpoint 61Ks and Arista 7000 series next generation switches provides an environment with both optimal performance and optimal security for physical or unified private cloud. Together, we secure the most demanding networks and are ready for one terabit per second throughput, the highest performance in the industry. This system allows you to grow, add more gateway modules, extend your network capacity, and deliver high availability and serviceability. As consumers are increasingly thinking about hybrid clouds, which incorporates public cloud deployments for AWS, Azure, or vCloud Air, Checkpoint is well positioned to provide our virtual security offering for all three public cloud deployments, as well as private cloud deployments. And together with Arista's Cloud Vision, and next generation switching technology, we can provide security and, and high performance to any environment that a, cons a customer decides to deploy. And with that, I'd love to hand it over to Jane to talk about our management solution. All right, thank you, Jason. Um, so as you've heard from Jason, um, Checkpoint provides a single platform to be essentially consolidate all of your security functions under one umbrella. And with our AD security management platform, which is our latest platform, you also get unified policy management, more efficient and automated operations, and integrated threat management. So with one policy to manage everything, what this means is now um, you can manage everything from users to data to physical and virtual gateways, all in one single console. So all your access points now are essentially controlled in one place. And the same goes for your threat prevention policies as well. At Checkpoint, we're unique in offering this level of unification while still providing tremendous control to the security team. And with this, we understand that in complex environments, unified policies you know, may be monolithic and you may need to segment them to, into your dynamic network. So with our AD, we make it very easy to be able to take that unified policy and segment it into more manageable sections, or as we call them, layers. And this allows much better manageability and control. So in each layer, you can basically delegate um, the workload and distribute them to the most qualified individual. So for example, here you see Anne basically manages the outbound access policies, while Walter now manages access to sensitive servers. Each of these sub-layers can also be automated, independent of the entire policy as well. The other aspect I mentioned about more efficient automated operations, now traditional approaches to managing security is largely manual. And what we've offered with R80 is a REST API that's very extensible that allows security teams now to be able to align security to IT processes and other systems to be able to automate more of their workflow. So for example, with R80, you can easily integrate with network management systems, provisioning cloud orchestration systems, as we heard earlier in the session, and also ticketing systems. 
What's unique about our ADIS API is that it allows security teams to define to a very granular level exactly what that integration can and cannot do. It's limited, and it can be limited to a specific rule set or a section of rules. Um, for other kind of integrations out there and other solutions in the market, once you open that integration via an API, you basically expose all of your policy. And by integrating R80's REST APIs provided by Checkpoint, Arista's macro segmentation service can learn what workloads into security policy should address or monitor. The automation capabilities of Cloud Vision macro segmentation service operate in real time without any need for a network operator to engage a security administrator or vice versa, and without the network needing to be re-architected in a manner specific to any workload. This capability is critical to a successful deployment of security in an enterprise, private, or hybrid cloud. A third area of enhancement with R80 is, as I mentioned, integrated threat management. What this means is that logging, monitoring, event correlation, and reporting functions are now all integrated into the same management console. So security teams can easily pivot from policy management or configuration of their gateways over to incident response. What you see in front of you is a screenshot of the dashboard. And this dashboard is extremely customizable to your particular environment and so that you can monitor the events that are important to you. So from this overview screen and dashboard, you can easily, just with a few clicks, be able to drill down to be able to act upon a particular event or to investigate it. So what you see here is basically looking at a specific event, you can see that 11 items were detected. And from there, you can actually go and take a look, look at the logs that are associated with that particular event and take an action against it. So from a few clicks, you basically get from viewing to action. And that pretty much enca encapsulates what R80 brings for you in terms of consolidating all of your security functions. With an integrated management architecture, essentially, your teams get to be a lot more organized and efficient and effective at deploying the strongest protections across your organization. Thanks, Jane and Jason. That's, uh, that's really great. Let's see how some of these policies can be used to target the critical application workflows, even at exabit scales in a cloud network uh, infrastructure. Ben, I'd like to hand it off to you uh, to take us through a demo of the RD Management Console and how it interacts with Arista macro, macro Segmentation Service. Ben? Thanks, Joe. Today I'm going to show a demonstration of Aristo's Macro Segmentation Service integrated with Checkpoint's R80 firewalls. On the first screen today we're looking at is a log screen output of Macro Segmentation. And here we're just initially pulling some policies on the Checkpoint firewall. Today our security administrator who is managing the firewall wants to add a finance server and put it behind the firewall. So the first thing they're going to do is ping the host to make sure they can reach it on the network. Then they're going to go here to a policy that they've pre-populated, verify the IP address for the finance server, and we see that it's in the finance zone, and we're going to allow traffic from the corporate zone. So all we need to do to tell Arista's MSS to pick this policy up is to add into the comment field what we call a policy tag, and that tag is Arista MSS. Then we install the policy on the firewall. Then, on the next monitoring cycle, Arista's MSS software will pick up that policy and parse it. And here we can see that we've picked up the policy, the Arista demo dot finance servers policy. It has the tag Arista MSS, and we have the IP address now of the finance server, and we know which firewall interfaces it's on. So MSS generates a network provisioning request to insert the firewall into the path of traffic for any network traffic going to or from that IP address. So next we're going to go back to our ping screen and we can see that since that policy was a deny, we can see the traffic's being dropped as it's been redirected to the firewall. The firewall is seeing that traffic, applying the policy and dropping it. We can look at the bottom of the screen here to the firewall logging and see that we just received some traffic to the finance server and that it's being dropped. 
So next we're going to go up and change that policy to an accept policy. So all we have to do is change the policy action, install the policy, And then we'll go back to our ping screen. And as soon as the management server has pushed that policy out to the checkpoint gateway, we'll see the traffic um, pings going through. So here they come. And then we'll switch back and look at the management server again, look at the logging, refresh it, and indeed see that now we have traffic coming through and it's green because it's being accepted. So this shows that the traffic has been dynamically inserted and redirected through the firewall without any manual configuration of the network. Arista's macro segmentation service completely integrates and dynamically provisions the network based on policies that live in the firewall. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. That was, that was a great demonstration. Uh, if we take a look then, just to summarize how MSS integrates with the R80 as a unified management console, we can see here how macro segmentation actually instantiates the firewall policy for the checkpoint R80 next-gen firewall by providing the traffic that the firewall wants to inspect dynamically uh, provided to the firewall through network cloud configuration policies. On the top right is what a firewall or security administrator would normally do. In this case, they're using the centralized R80 management server for checkpoint firewalls which provides a centralized place for defining security policies, uh, be they for virtual or physical or hybrid cloud environments. The security admin has complete control over security policies defined here. This aspect of uh, isolation between the security policy control and the network configuration, we feel is, a, is an important part of what we're doing in macro segmentation services, because for security control, no network administrator involvement uh, or software change uh, in the firewall is required. No network device configuration on the firewalls is required as well because the mechanism that's used in the firewall policies to define which policies are relevant to the east-west traffic in the data center is uh, simply to add user-defined tags in the policies uh, comment fields themselves. On the bottom left we have Cloud Vision services as they're represented to the network engineers through a command line interface and where macro segmentation services is, is enabled by the network admin. Macro segmentation service learns what traffic a firewall policy wants to inspect and sets the firewall up in the path of traffic that it needs to see. Based on its inherent knowledge, cloud vision, that is, its inherent knowledge of the physical virtual infrastructure and how with the ability to learn firewall or service policies through the RESTful APIs that R80 provides. Um, Cloud Vision can now dynamically configure forwarding of flows into and out of the service platform symmetrically, instantiating a network topology uh, dynamically as needed for that specific targeted traffic. Note that there's a tag defined here called Arista MSS that we use to know when to apply macro segmentation as a network service so the firewall can be used in both a traditional manner and dynamically instantiated into a network topology as well. The dynamic mode provided by macro segmentation in this way is very much complementary to micro segmentation uh, as well as to R80's unified management uh, concept uh, for hybrid, uh, private, and data center cloud networks. And from here, R80 can manage all the policy and rules of our next generation firewalls within physical data centers, as well as modern data centers, as well as virtualized environments. And um, also with these tag security policies, it's really easy to be able to filter out and report on the logs associated to these specific policies and generate reports as well. So, so let's boil this down uh, to some, some simplicity here. Um, Arista Networks is providing uh, this service called Cloud Vision that has a, has a unified view, uh, very centralized, of all of the network infrastructure and the state of every element within the network. So what we've done here is we've created something called Cloud Vision MSS, or Macro Segmentation Service, 
Uh, and what it is is a native service within Arista Cloud Vision uh, that's supported on every Arista switch in our portfolio. And it inserts in-path security devices, uh, for, you know, for example here, firewalls, which will be most likely the case, into a logical topology uh, that suits the cloud network design for that particular customer uh, in a way that addresses traffic that was hard to reach and uh, extend out of the network to a firewall in the past. Cloud Vision MSS is practical and simple. Firewalls can be located anywhere in the network, for example, in a service rack or deployed across the spine or leaf nodes of the network. And it works quite simply by using Cloud Vision's native ability to learn and automate uh, services like VLAN configuration, uh, VXLAN trunking, and L2 and L3 uh, topologies. And the security policy in this example stays completely within the firewall. No security policy is transferred into the network with the exception of the tags that identify which traffic addresses and tunnels need to be inspected. In that sense, Cloud Vision MSS also doesn't change the running configurations of the network. This is a dynamic service that's instantiated through Cloud Vision, and the network design remains the network design uh, uh, as it was engineered by the uh, network operations and engineering staff. What Cloud Vision MSS is not is any form of added complexity or proprietary protocols on the network. All of the operations are done through Cloud Vision's distributed ability to insert forwarding exception rules within the network, and the blended security policy within the network is handled entirely by the RAD management console and the capabilities of the Checkpoint software technologies firewalls. There are no proprietary lock-ins, for example, in this design. No proprietary protocols or encapsulations are used. And the design is extendable to use other vendors' leaf or spine nodes uh, if required, so long as the Arista network switches are providing the interconnection through Cloud Vision to all of the secured resources. Customers who have been very excited about macro segmentation services, the deployment model, include all customers who are attracted to a hybrid cloud value proposition, customers concerned about security of east-west traffic within their data center, especially in multi-tenant environments, and really every modern cloud data center customer of Aristas. This is a huge win for customers in terms of simplifying their ability to deploy security services across the network framework and is, uh, again, another innovation from Arista on our journey from really the early days of networking and data centers to a truly scalable and automated secure cloud network infrastructure. You see a timeline here uh, where uh, macro segmentation service fits. We've announced this uh, capability as being part of the plan for Arista Cloud Vision uh, late last year. We've been in early field trials and continuing to develop the Cloud Vision macro segmentation service this year uh, and uh, look forward to working with customers on EFTs with Checkpoint software technologies as part of the uh, EFT architecture over the course of this summer. The service itself is being delivered a little later this year uh, in a short time as a GA component of Cloud Vision uh, services on the Arista platforms and it's a native part, as we said earlier, of Arista Cloud Vision Services. So at this point, we'd like to transition to take a look at some of the questions that you've raised and to uh, invite you to contact your representative at Checkpoint Software Technologies or Arista Networks uh, to engage in further discussions about how this can help in your environment. I'm going to hand it back to Namita, uh, who will uh, show us some of the questions, and we'll see how we can address them. Thanks. Thanks, guys. So I think now we're going to take a few questions from our audience. Um, I'm seeing some questions come in through the chat window here. Um, and this one, actually, I'm going to give this one to Joe. Does MSS eliminate the need for VSEC solutions or micro-segmentation like VMware NSX or VXLAN overlays? <laughs> oh, OK. Um, yeah, so macro-segmentation actually just extends the concept of those sort of fine-grained inter-hypervisor security and hybrid cloud solutions. Uh, in the, the things that are in VSEC and vSwitches within the cloud by, by basically enabling dynamic security to be uh, easily applied to both the physical and the virtual workloads. Um, 
So, uh, you know, that is physical to physical, like bare metal servers to storage nodes, um, uh, bare metal to bare metal, or physical to virtual, like, like a bare metal server to a virtual VM. So uh, macro segmentation security, it's actually a complement to those fine-grained security solutions delivered by VSEC and micro segmentation capable overlays like, like VMware NSX. So to sum it up, I guess the best way to say it is that that those that MSS is very complementary uh, to those solutions, and um, both of those uh, classes of technology are very necessary to secure a cloud data center. Great. So uh, the next question that I'm seeing coming up here is um, from a company that I will leave the name out of. So we have a high-performance data center on-premises as well as public and private cloud. With our hybrid IT environment, how can I manage all of our physical and virtual security gateways and make sure our network operator and security administrator are on the same page with regard to the network architecture? Jason, you want to take this one? Yeah, thanks, Namita. And great question. With R80, a single console is all it takes to manage all security gateways from the data center to the public and private cloud. Access control policies are all unified, so a single policy can manage gateways, devices, applications, users, and data east, west, north, south, and in the hybrid cloud. Threat prevention policies are also unified, so IPS, anti-bot, and threat emulation protections are managed via a single policy. Yeah, it sounds, Jason, it sounds like that, that unified policy is, is the key attribute that the whole R80 platform provides for customers. Yeah, absolutely. It, it really uh, decreases the time and, and can allow security administrators to focus on blocking threats and, and not worry about managing all these SIGL appliances and gateways from uh, multiple sources. Awesome. So another one I'm seeing, how does Arista's macro segmentation service redirect traffic to checkpoint data center firewalls and how does the tagging mechanism work? Hey, hey Jason, uh, can you cover the, the kind of the tagging and how we get to it through your APIs? Yeah, absolutely. So by integrating with R80 management APIs provided by checkpoint data center firewalls, Arista's macro segmentation service learns what applications and users the security policy should address or monitor. By doing this, traffic forwarding to and from the checkpoint gateway is automatically routed through Arista's standard IP fabric based on the policies defined in the firewall. Yeah, great. And of course, we saw that in Ben's demo where we just kind of typed in Arista MSS as a tag. You can put anything you want as a tag uh, um, uh, text in there. Um, that's what we pick up through your API. So, so kind of to clarify that a little bit, the, the automation of uh, this uh, macro segmentation service, uh, it operates in real time by reading the APIs through your, your REST API um, in real time without the network needing to be kind of redesigned or re-architected specific to getting the workloads in front of the firewall or, or where it, you know, the path needing to be specific to the workload. And so the network operator doesn't need to go and engage with the security admin um, or the security admin doesn't have to engage with the network operator because the policy insertion or the, the, the firewall insertion in front of the workload is automated. So you, you dynamically insert the security services for data centers, uh, whether it consists of a mixture of physical and virtualized workloads and storage nodes and other things, and it easily allows you to segment the policies into manageable sections or policy layers through your, your R80 console um, and um, allows for more agile security policy responses to network changes and segmented networks and workloads. So when a security policy needs a specific logical network topology, uh, Cloud Vision Macro Segmentation Service can instantiate that into the, the physical network um, uh, just using the standard base network IP fabric and, and the creation of it is automated based on the fact that, that the API is providing visibility into the policies from the Cloud Vision service. So our next question is what makes Arista switches capable of doing this kind of service insertion and do I need to have an all Arista network for this to work? Joe, you want to take this one? Yeah, that's definitely for Arista, I think. Um, 
So since Cloud Vision uh, from Arista is part of our operating system, uh, think of it as kind of a physical network fabric controller for Arista switches. It maintains this network-wide database of all of the state within the network, and we call that NetDB. Uh, and it also provides an integration point for uh, hypervisor resources like VMware, vSphere, or, or NSX, or OpenStack KVMs, and, and any other kind of virtualized resource that, that needs to attach to the physical network and um, have uh, unified sort of topology management. So NetDB is aware of where every workload is within the network, and it learns in real time about uh, new devices or new workloads that are added to the network removed from the network uh, or moved across ports on the on the physical network and servers. So using that information, what CloudVision MSS does is it provides an automated service for, for service insertion uh, and redirection of traffic for any cloud network design, whether it's based on layer two or layer three or VXLAN based overlay technologies. And, and it does that uh, in the switches that are attached to the workloads. So as long as the attachment points of the workloads on the network, um, for example, your top of rack switches are running Arista EOS software, uh, that is, you know, our Arista switches, then MSS will work even if the network consists of a multi-vendor network topology composed of any anybody else's standards-based switches. So, so the answer is, um, yeah, you need some Arista switches in the network to make MSS work, but you don't need the network to be all Arista. Uh, it works in a, a hybrid or multi-vendor environment just fine. Awesome. Um, so a good follow-up question to that is, what do macro segmentation protocols look like on the network? Uh, somebody wasn't listening before. <laughs> um, so uh, actually, there are no protocols unique to CloudVision MSS um, because what we're doing is we're integrating with the REST APIs in the Checkpoint RID Management Console and Gateway and MSS is just learning uh, what workloads the security policy needs to address or monitor. Um, and so that, that, that ensures that you know, it's not, it's not going to create a lock-in for customers. Uh, it's not going to create any diagnostic problems for customers. They'll see uh, only standard protocols on the network. And when a security policy needs a specific logical network topology, again, like we were saying earlier, Arista MSS can instantiate that into the network by stitching in forwarding rules into a standard network fabric. Yeah, and just to add to that, so if the security administrator creates segments and applies policy that inspects the specific traffic to not only physical workloads and but also virtual folk workloads, um, they can move this into our data center appliances for inspection. Yeah, and again, what that creates is a it's a flexible environment. Everything is standards based. All of your existing network diagnostic tools work, uh, and there's no added complexity or proprietary infrastructure things going on, other than standard IP based forwarding across the fabric. Great. So I think that's actually all the time we have for today. Uh, Joe, Jane, Jason, and Ben, thank you so much for your contributions. Um, a recording of this webinar is going to be posted on the Arista website, and it will be emailed to all attendees. Um, if you have any further questions for us, you can email us at webinars at arista.com, or you can contact sales at arista.com to have a salesperson reach out to you. Uh, thank you guys for joining, and we hope to see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>